My favorite part of the game was the part where I clipped through the world. I always said that traditional Halo worked too well and 343 finally delivered. Halo 6 Infinite is 343's way of saying sorry. Sorry about trying to do our own narrative thing with Halo 4 and... Uh... So here's a Halo story where Chief gets a new Cortana, gets to kill a cartoon villain, a lore enemy, and Briglard, a grunt so evil that he disciplines puppies. And if you're wondering, yes, there's a bunch of nostalgia bait, and yes, I ate that up. You know, they got the ba 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 And then they say something stupid like this. Seems like it. Oh, wait. You're being sarcastic. He's fun. I like him. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. That line gets me every fucking time. <laughs> they even put in all the Halo tropes that you know and love, like the crash landings and having Cortana scream some cryptic lines while I walk around. Get out of my head, you nasty bitch. I don't know who you are. Now that being said, there are some things about the game that I just don't understand. For whatever reason, they felt the need to add boss battles to the game. Not an inherently bad idea, but boss battles are supposed to be some highlights from video games and 343 made their boss fights some of the worst parts of the game. An interesting choice on their part, but don't get me wrong, I could, maybe, possibly, feasibly, potentially even, be stupid. But I'm pretty sure boss battles aren't supposed to be gauntlets where I unload on a bullet sponge and grapple away because most of the bosses kill you in one hit. I'm well aware that people really like this game a lot, so I don't want to say anything too different from what everyone else has already said, so... The bosses are acceptable, which is the same thing I'm going to say for the campaign's levels. Halo 6 Infinite actually did something pretty interesting and risky. They looked at the second level from Halo CE and thought, hey, I can make a game out of that. So they did, and I feel not excited about it. It's cool because originally Halo CE was supposed to be an open world, don't fact check me, but the game doesn't actually take advantage of the open world, like, at all. One or two of the missions force you to actually interact with the world, but I did this. I didn't feel the need to stop or interact with the game world because I bought a Halo game and expect it to be a linear cinematic game with a bunch of well thought out set pieces and arenas. Yeah, most of this game is hallways and uh, putting batteries in place. I actually didn't even know how to use batteries before I played this game, so you know, I learned something new from it, that's cool. But after I finished the story mode, I did go back to play the open world and it it's okay. It falls into the same trap that every open world game gets into where the open world is really just pointless side content. Having weapon variations is cool, but is a low resolution energy sword really worthwhile? I don't want it to sound like I didn't have any fun with the open world because I did do this. This game's better than Spider-Man. At the end of the day, the open world doesn't take away from the core experience, and once you're done with the main campaign, you are left with a bunch of, although less realized, arenas to keep playing with. So again, it's, it's okay, it could be better. I feel like I've given the impression that I don't like this game, so let me say this. The guns and combat are great, and I think the core gameplay rivals Halo 2, 3, and Reach. The game is super replayable. This is definitely one of the better Halo stories, but holy hell, the ending sequences are trying so hard to make me feel like I'm a psychopathic killer that lost all of his friends to a race war with Catholic aliens. It worked! The game is a 4 out of 5 and I really want to give it a 5 out of 5 just for being as good as it is with the wild development cycle the game had. 